Hey, what's up guys? I'm Harry Torn, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as we are playing as the provisional Russian government. So sorry again that there wasn't any videos over the weekends. We had to go to Texas to pick up our pet rabbits. My mother-in-law was watching him while we were on vacation. Now we were supposed to go last weekend and celebrate my daughter's birthday with the family, but with the kids sick, we decided not to. I thought we wouldn't be going this weekend either since the kids are still sick, but I wasn't aware that my wife is working the next two weekends. So unfortunately this was the only weekend that we could do it. And so therefore we went ahead and picked them up. It's a seven hour drive down there. And it was short notice since I didn't know about her working. And so that's why I didn't let you guys know in the previous video. Uh, but hopefully we can get back on schedule and stay on schedule now that the uh, last thing is completed. Alright, so let's go and let it play here. I'm trying to make sure we win in this location. I don't know if we're going to be able to. You see that this is red, this one's red, and this one's red. So overall this is not looking good. Yeah. We're probably going to lose this unit here, which means we'll also lose this. Now there wasn't a good chance that we were going to be able to save uh, all these units anyways. We'll just have to see what happens here. Uh, we did get this unrest in the, so in the Soviet Union event again, so that's helpful. And we're also attempting to get uh, this situation here dealt with. So let's go ahead and see who needs the most assistance. Give me this guy. You know what? We can also assist with uh, these units once I get their organization back up. Uh, let's go ahead and push forward here and we see where the rails are at. So we're already advancing up along here. Okay, so let's just go ahead and uh, grab these provinces. Well, this guy's already getting that one. So we can just go and get this one then and go over towards that victory point. Uh, that cab unit should be there pretty soon, which means we'll now need to wipe this unit here out. He's attacking across the river, so obviously not the best situation there. So let's have this cab unit here assist him. Almost got this guy here destroyed. We got the Germans helping us out as well. All right, excellent. Uh, we'll go and assist here. Try and get done a little bit quicker. Move this guy back over to there. And you know what? I don't think anybody else needs to be over here. So let's go to get all these guys moving over there. And we'll also advance over this way. Just give these guys some further orders here. Try and get this unit wiped out as well. And I think we already got uh, orders for everybody down here for the most part. All right, so let's go and dip back over here and see if I can change the situation out. Uh, so what we could do is let this guy rest up a little bit. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do, actually. Just rest up a little bit, and then we'll try and uh, assist here. Because remember, he's going to be moving over here the moment this battle is uh, a loss, which I think this guy's going to be destroyed here in mere moments anyways. We are holding here. Oh, it looks like he got destroyed. All right, so we'll see if we can defeat this unit, but yeah, it does look like we lost him, unfortunately. Uh, but I think we might get some more units here since we've had somebody defect. All right, fantastic. Uh, so he'll bring a few units over to us, three more in total. All right, so let's go and send these over. What we probably want to do is start getting rid of some of the cab units here on the front line. I know that they're, they're fast, and so it's helpful having them. But we want to get some of these better units up on the front. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We're going to take one of the cab divisions that's currently in this army. Particularly if we have one up here somewhere, which we do. So we're going to take this guy and put him into that army. And then we'll take maybe this guy here and throw him onto this front. And then these last two here, we're going to put them onto this front. And then we'll just take two of the cab units out. Maybe one of the ones that's kind of exhausted, put him over there. And then one more. If we can find somebody that's not in a location where we want to make use of them, maybe this guy here. So you can see that everybody's having supply issues across this front. And that's because I don't think we've fully connected the rails yet. Yeah, we still have to take this location and this one. As that's kind of what uh, is delaying us here at the moment. Uh, we'll go and uh, assist with this unit here. Try and get that unit destroyed. And you know what? Let's see if we can't push that guy back. Just so he can't uh, take this territory here. And this guy will move over here. Push the front forward there. Let's make sure we got orders for everybody here. That he's moving into that location. Somebody needs to clean this up here. So this is what we're going to do. Let's take these guys. And we'll just have one unit, this cab unit, finish it up here. And then these guys are going to go ahead and start pushing forward into this territory. 
just get it wrapped up, all helping us towards capitulating Stalin. Now we do seem to have one extra unit, apparently. So we need to fix that, send him over here. Oh, it looks like I took a, I see, I see. I took a white army in it. We'll just take this guy and put him into this army since he's nice and close to that front already. Now we'll push forward here, see if we can't cut off some units here. And this tank should probably go over here. Actually, we'll take that location. I don't think we need him down in the south anymore. All right, so trying to wrap up this division, but let's go ahead and make sure we're uh, pushing forward here into this territory. So we're just gonna grab these two locations here. And yeah, get across the river while there's nobody there defending it. Just keep on advancing down this way towards those victory points. Uh, but the rails here, that's what we need to be grabbing. So this guy will go up along the rails. I was gonna have the cab unit do it, but obviously he's currently busy. All right, so looking pretty good there. Let me see if we're able to... All right, so we got more of the uh, enemy desertions. Okay, we were able to take this location, but at least we have a unit here to stop them. We still need to get this taken over, but I'm worried if I leave here, then that guy will get across. So obviously, I don't want that to happen, so we're just gonna leave him here for now. Let him get his entrenchment up, and his organization back up as well. All right, so this guy is gonna go ahead and push forward to grab that victory point. Let's actually make sure he stays here. And then we're gonna advance down here and make use of this cab unit here. All right, so this guy needs orders, as does he. Let's push forward and grab all this. And you can see there's actually rails up along here, so let's go this way and go towards that victory point. So again, just need to win one more location now. Since we've taken that one, it's just this one here. Now this is providing a supply. So we just need to get that one and then these supply hubs will activate. So it's looking pretty good. And uh, we did get more divisions. So we need to get those assigned. Uh, so it seems like they're all over here. Let me just take a look. Yeah, this guy's here, so we're gonna just sign him there now. I don't want them all over there, so this is what we'll do. We'll place one more, and the rest of these, let's have them come on over. Well, this is a tank, so let's not do that. We'll have the tank come into this army here, and then just pull back one of these white army divisions here. Have him go into this front, and then we can just extend this front as well. So he doesn't even need to move. Because we want the white army focusing on this area anyways. So yeah, we'll do that. And then just pull back the, the white army front once again. All right, looking solid. Uh, so we'll go ahead and push forward against that unit there. And just make sure everybody's got orders throughout here. We did get some units cut off, so let's go ahead and proceed with their destruction. We'll attack that guy there, and let's go and get these guys destroyed. We're trying to, it does look like we're losing that one battle. Uh, we got another unit cut off over here, so let's go and attack. Let's see how we want to do this. We'll go this way. We'll attack him to lock him down, stop him from walking us there, and then have this unit assist in the destruction of the cab unit. All right, so looking pretty solid here. Uh, this guy, I suppose, will go this way and cut off that one unit there, and then he can just actually, you know what? He'll go ahead and wipe him out since. Uh, this will result in this mountain unit being cut off. All right, so he's trying to take off. We don't want him to take off. Let's just have him go after victory points now. Just continue to push the front forward there. And this mountain unit, I don't know what he's doing. Let's go ahead and have him go down this way. And maybe he'll get there first. He'll clean that up for us. All right, excellent. Cab unit, let's have him cut off this unit here. While that other cab's going after the rails. And then this mountain unit can clean this up. So let's just go and advance down here, wrap this up. And this guy needs to be given some orders. We'll have him go across here now. 
and he'll go here and then the idea is that we should be able to get that unit destroyed so we actually do have this naval experience where we could get a doctrine but i think what we're going to get is get the the spirit of the navy here and we're going to do the global presence so battleship and heavy cruiser research speed will increase and then also the heavy ships will be cheaper to design could get the integrated designers we're going to get this one just spend a little bit of that naval experience all right so this tank here is not doing anything so let's go and correct that let's see how we want to do it so we're going to go ahead and have him attack cross here and then this guy's really weak so that'll cut off oh well i guess he can do this or what we could do just grab that real quick and then he'll destroy him yeah i think that's a better way to do it uh, and then we'll go ahead and attack cross here as well and then have him come here while this guy goes all the way across and cuts those guys off hopefully that's the idea anyway all right so we locked these guys down that was the only purpose there so let's now advance over here and then we'll try and cut off this cab unit and then have this unit destroy that guy since he'll be cut off here momentarily all right so stalingrad is open we could run down there and grab it but what it might be better to do is instead have this infantry unit just grab that location and then come up over here or you know what hmm. we'll see who gets there first yeah, he might be able to beat the, the tank unit since he's so far away at the moment. Uh, so we're currently winning one of these while losing the other one. So we'll have to see if we can hold that or not. Uh, we did capture another army stockpile. Excellent. And then this guy's going to go ahead and grab control of those locations. All right, and then let's have him go over here. Oh, never mind. He'll attack this way. We're able to get a unit there in time. All right, so... Cleaning this up down here, all helping to get the Soviets to capitulate. All right, so we'll go ahead and seize control of this location next. And this one looks like we got a unit attempting to cut us off here. So we're going to have to defend that location. And he will not get there in time. Okay, so I think we're going to have to stop this and attack there instead. And then he'll just go through here and grab. You know, he'll just grab all three of these locations. And then let's go and get across the river now. So he's going over that way. And then we'll just get this unit here cut off. While he goes up this way. So continue to capture those army stockpiles. Yeah, this guy's moving way faster. Alright, so we'll just have him keep going down there while we wait for this tank to catch up. And then let's not have these guys leaving here. Continue to grab those provinces. All right, so looking pretty good. I would like to reduce the size of the White Army Front if possible. Uh, let's go to the Far East real quick as well, and I suppose we do need to set up our civilian factories. Uh, probably just going to be doing more military factories. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do one more here since it's got that 60%. Might as well build in all these 60% locations. And then what we need to do is make sure that the situation here isn't looking too bad like maybe attack right there we'll clean up this area here that's all one province okay so he can just go to that location then this guy's only got the one province left to go to so almost done with those orders that we gave him so long ago he's going over there so we'll have this guy take that location and then just continue uh, pushing forward into these provinces here not too many soviet troops over here but there's a few and you know we'll be able to get those wiped out hmm yeah i want to bring this guy over here i think we'll have him go into rails as well just goes a little bit a little bit quicker so we're not not winning this battle here we'll have to stop it those cab divisions, you know, they're they're not great. So we got this guy doing that attack, so let's have him assist here, since clearly we're not going to win there. 
otherwise. And then we'll go ahead and grab this occasion and this one here, see if we can't get that unit cut off in the mountains there. And he's still advancing here. Should have that one taken soon. Once this tank here wins, he'll go after this occasion. Should be able to get some assistance here once this guy gets there. So we'll get uh, this taken before we go after that unit there. Well, it looks like he's already uh, defending this location. He's already helping us out here. So it might end up losing there. Let's go and get across the river now. And then he'll just attack that cab division as soon as he has him cut off. And then, yeah, we'll just advance up along here. I suppose they're just going to keep on taking these these rails here. And this guy's going to go this way. Now this tank unit attack here since clearly we lost in that location. So let's go ahead and send a few tanks in to get that done. Alright, so this guy here will be cut off very soon. And so we'll just have him advance across here, and then he'll go up along that way. And then let's just clean this all up here. Yeah, get a little bit of assistance here from these units. Uh, we will take one candidate and have him help us out here. And let's see, we'll have these guys take over all this. And then we'll have these guys take care of this area. All right, looking good. All right, so up along this front here, and yeah, not really an important area, but it always does help us to uh, get the enemy to capitulate. Uh, we did get that fourth research slots, also got a 1% research bonus, so that's helpful. Uh, so as for the next thing to get, we're not going to get this one right now. It's a 35 day focus. Yeah, we're not going to do that one. We're going to get the aristocratic investments, 10% output for the factories and dockyards and four more military factories. It's a 70 day focus though, so it does take a bit of time to do. And uh, I think we're close enough to the 1939 focuses to go ahead and start, uh, excuse me, 1939 tax to go ahead and start getting those. So let's get the Concentrated Industry 3. See how we're doing here. We are holding out in both locations. All right, nice. So Bulgaria, I guess, is going to be joining the Central Powers. Let's go ahead and have these guys go, go over here. And man, we just cannot get this done here. Have this tank go grab that province for us. And it looks like we are not going to win this one either. So let's have this unit help help them out. And we did cut this unit off, so let's leave this guy here. And we're going to want him to attack from this direction. So just having difficulty with all these attacks. Let's go and stop this one here and then have this cab unit attempt to do it now. He's not great. Just going to need to rest that one unit up some. And then he's going to go up along here. They could easily cut us off in some of these areas, but they're not. So I suppose we're lucky for that. They're being very passive overall. Uh, you know what, we'll go this way. And then try and get control of that rail. Alright, so plenty of units cut off that we need to wipe out now. And they might also want to assist here. Getting this done. Yeah, should have that done soon. Alright, so he's been destroyed. So we're advancing over this way and this way, and that'll cut off this unit here in the mountains. Let's go ahead and take that location there. And this one here. And no, we don't want to do it that way. We'll try and see if we can't get around this unit here. Let's continue focusing on cutting units off. And up here, I'd like to get this finished up just so we don't have to keep coming all the way over here. So we have this guy taking that province. This guy would take this one here. He'll go here. 
Oh lord. Alright, so you got two units going to the same place. It's fine. It's fine. So still waiting for all these units to get their orders done. And we held out here. Excellent. So again, I would like to, to finish this, take these, these provinces over, but just not able to. Unfortunately, we do have a decision available, a few of them. Uh, so these are those raids that we don't really need to conduct. Say we don't need to be notified for that. And then uh, the industrial land appropriation, another one that we don't need to be notified for. So finally building up a little bit of a uh, little power here. And the tank is leaving. Of course he is. All right, so we want him to advance up along the rails. Just grabbing these all up for us. And then we'll have this guy filling it in for us. He's going to move towards Stalingrad. And this guy cleans up this area. He can assist now, see if he can't get that done. Still struggling to finish up there. So how close are the Soviets to capitulate now at this point? Because keep getting that event that makes them more likely to capitulate. Uh, that 36% currently, uh, 48,000 casualties for ourselves, uh, 320,000 casualties for them. Uh, so doing pretty good there. Seems like Germany has assisted us as well. And let's go get this guy to assist, get that done a little bit faster. Don't need any more units to come down this area. I think that uh, these guys can get it done here. Actually, we'll have that guy go here. And this guy can just finish that up. So we need to stretch out this blue front here now. Since this should be done fairly quickly, we almost have all this territory taken over. The Germans might actually get that done before us. So let's send these guys over here. And then these guys will advance down here. They'll go here, they'll go here. Then these two can move up to this front in the north. And these guys should just be able to wrap this up now. All right, excellent. So hopefully uh, get the southern area done here soon. All right, so still got him doing those orders. So we gonna have two units advancing towards Stalingrad up along the rails here. So we have him advancing this way. And he's already taken care of that for us, excellent. Let's have this guy go to this front. Assume he's coming over here. We don't really need him. Uh, we can use this tank to assist, try and get that done a little bit quicker. And then let's go ahead and cut off this tank unit and then destroy him. Hopefully that tank can handle that cab unit on his own. Perhaps not if it's anything like the, uh, the cab units in Battlefield 1. I don't know if you guys played that that battlefield game. Those cab units, man. They were like wreaking havoc on, on tanks. Uh, let's see how we want to do this. Let's go up along the rails here. Yeah, you can throw those grenades though and pretty much just uh, destroy any any tanks. I hated the cab units. I didn't like playing as them. I liked playing as tanks. Yeah, Battlefield 1 is actually, I know it wasn't like a, a favorite of the Battlefield series, which I prefer Battlefield over Call of Duty. Yeah, a lot of people didn't like Battlefield 1, but I really enjoyed that one. Unlike uh, many of the Battlefield games, which are either modern or World War 2, Battlefield 1 took place in World War 1, hence the name, despite not being the first Battlefield game. Alright, so we did get some more units over here. Not gonna really take a look at our generals and stuff. We'll rearrange them later. Now yeah, let's just take these guys and get them going over to here. I think. Yeah, we'll just them take them all and have them go to that location, and then maybe we can kind of uh, stretch this out some. 
You can also stretch it out this way. As again, the wide armies front is uh, a bit too wide. Yeah, I'll just keep sending troops over to them. And we can probably take some of the troops that are here and either, you know, actually that's what we'll do. We'll just extend this all the way over here now. Because yeah, this is just about finished up here now. So these guys can stay up on this front. Grab this territory for us. All right, so they're still completing their orders. They take a really long time to get those locations. Now we have had our first nationalist uprising, unfortunately. Uh, so these will happen around the Soviet territories. You might see Ukraine rebel. And then we have to choose whether or not we're going to be friends with them. And so this will decrease world tension. They're gonna declare one in the Soviet Union regardless. And then we'll exchange military access or we can declare war on them, which I think is what we're gonna do. Get that territory reconquered. Does mean we have another enemy that we have to fight here though. And it creates uh, some weird situations with the front lines too. So we're gonna need to fix that. Let's go and stretch this out like so. And then maybe take any troops that are here and have them go. Oh, okay, this is a completely separate front, I see. Okay, so you have to have. <laughs> That's great. All right, so these guys will go over here then for now. And the White Army is just going to have to take care of this for us until we get some of this cleaned up a little bit. All right, so kind of a ugly situation here now. Let's go and advance the front over this way, though. All right, so that looks good. So yeah, I, I'm not willing to, to give up any of that territory. I mean, we unfortunately did lose on that battle there. Okay, so this guy's taking care of that, so we'll just have this tank clean all this up here. And then he's gonna continue advancing down the rails. Kinda hard to see where those are at. I think it's right here. Let's continue going down this way. Eventually he'll meet up with these troops that are gonna be going after Stalingrad. And apparently we got the same units going to that location, so don't need to do that. All right, excellent. That unit's almost destroyed, same thing with this guy here. And a lot of open territory here that we need to fill in. A lot of stuff we're not defending currently. I did get that radio detection. So again, we're working on those 1939 tacks. Uh, do we want to continue down, down the radar branch? When there's so much stuff to get in 1939, we got the infantry equipment, we got all the support equipment ones, uh, you got the artillery, and then of course we're still doing the industrial tax as well. I suppose we'll start with the infantry equipment, get that researched, and that's going to take 157 days to get completed. Soviets are now 48% towards capitulation after losing that territory there and the stuff that we've recently taken from them. Let's go ahead and get these guys all signed to come up here and then have this front just pulled back like way. Well, we don't want these guys to leave the Stalingrad situation yet. So just extend this like so. And we only need these two units to finish that. All right, because yeah, this is all done here. All right, so that looks pretty good. So all of our Blue Army units will come over here in the south, help out the White Army. And then, now that unit is left, we can go and advance up along the rails here. This guy here needs to thicken this border up some, so that tank unit doesn't get himself cut off. And this guy's just gonna do the same thing, go up along here. Let's get this cab unit to take care of this for us. Uh, we're attacking across the, the river. That's obviously not the best way to do that. And then let's have this guy take care of this territory. All right, so we need to get across the river and then attack those units, get them destroyed. Let me go this way. All right, so we need to get into their territory. 
Right, let's just have these guys attack across here. Get it done. And then we'll have this guy get across there. And Poland has declared war on Lithuania. Well, that's interesting. So they weren't able to unite peacefully. And so Poland will conquer Lithuania fairly quickly, I would assume. It shouldn't take them too likely, or too long, excuse me. Yeah, so got another war going on. We're at 27% world tension, so that has not really budged much. I think that's where it's been at for some time now. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and have this tank unit and clean all that up. Getting those bonuses should hopefully make it easier to capitulate. The Soviets are now at 59%. Excellent. So, need to get to Moscow. That's really what's gonna gonna help us there. And we have Stalingrad now. So that's big, because that's worth a lot of points. And these guys should have all these rails taken, so we'll go up this way next. Grab that victory point. And then have the tanks move up along this way here. And then I suppose this cab unit can do this. So he can just focus on taking that location. And then he'll advance over here. Attacking across the river there, but we're winning, so we'll keep him going. For now. And then these guys are going to go up along here. He'll go here, and these guys will go up this way. Alright, so... Guy's almost there. Let's have him come over here then. While well, he goes this way. So you can see those blue army units are coming over here to assist us. Now, why don't you stay over here, buddy? And thus we can now pull back the white army to some degree here. Just kind of focus on protecting Stalingrad. Clean this up as well. Need to get control of those air bases. And let's have this guy go up along here and grab that rail network. And we'll see if we can't get behind these guys here. And then this tank unit still advancing up along the rails. Almost got those two units destroyed there. Uh, let's go ahead and have See how we want to do this. We'll go up along this way. And then we'll attack him. Get him destroyed. And then we'll be able to advance into their territory. We'll attack all throughout here. And it looks like we just need one unit to take care of this for us. Alright, looking good. So up along here, again not an important front, but let's try and get it done just to kind of help out with the, the capitulation of the Soviets. And then we'll better bring these divisions elsewhere. Alright, so I think he's already, yeah, he's already got orders going there, but you know what, I know that he's been moving forever, but <laughs> we're going to redirect him over to this location here. Now if this guy's done, we're going to have him move over to this front. It's going to take him forever to get over there. Even moving up along the rails. And hopefully we can try and just get these guys here destroyed. Though I don't think we'll finish that up before the war is over, honestly. Still holding out here just fine. As our troops get closer and closer to them. Uh, so all these guys here are just sitting around. Let's go and get this. Sort it out here. Keep moving up along the rails with that cab unit. And then this tank unit. Let's see how we want to do this. So we can see that the rails are this way. So we'll have him go that way. Somebody needs to get across the river and start moving towards these other victory points. So let's go ahead and grab. We'll grab the air base along the way as we go after Tula. And we'll get uh, the cab unit going towards, towards Kursk. And then this guy's going to advance up along here. Actually, this guy can clean, uh, clean up those provinces while he grabs these ones for us. And let's just stop all these units from moving here. This is not necessary. 
This is just about finished up as it is. So we just need these guys to finish it for us. All right, we'll advance up along the river and have him go after these locations. Go after that airbase. And then yeah, just taking these victory points. I thought we already had somebody go after this. Apparently not. Or he fell down it. Maybe somebody uh, stomped him. Alright, looks pretty good. So now let's go ahead and make sure that everybody over here has orders. So let's have this tank unit come over here so that he can go this way. We'll see if that works. I don't know if he'll be able to get across there in time. Maybe. It doesn't look like it though. And then he'll go, yeah, he'll go all the way over here. Yeah, and the winter is just making it take so much longer than it would. Uh, we do have a bunch of military factories, so let's go and get these aside. We have 10 now going into the infantry equipment, but our shortages have only gotten worse. Uh, same thing with the artillery too. The artillery is pretty short now. Um, so let's go and put some factories into the artillery and then some more into the infantry equipment. Yeah, definitely facing some shortages there. All right, so we pushed a little bit too far forward over here, but I think that's okay because clearly they do not have the divisions to like cut us off or really launch their own offensives. Let's go ahead and have these guys go this way. Well, he can now get across here and hopefully cut this unit off. Let's actually change this up and go this way. We'll see if we can't get that, that tank cut off. All right, so this guy's gonna push forward here, start moving into their territory. We'll take one guy and have him go that way since we already have this guy going over here. All right, so they do have some divisions coming over to this front now. Yeah, we'll have to get them wiped out. I'm just hoping we can get the Soviets defeated before anybody else rebels. Cause that's just more uh, troops we gotta deal with. Cause yeah, we're not gonna let anybody break free and then we'll go this way and get this all cleaned up here all right so let me just take a look see how close they are to capitulate now we're 84 percent right, excellent so definitely seeing some progress here now some good progress as we continue to push forward quite rapidly all right, he's taking all that, so let's go ahead and start moving down here. And then we'll get all this seized. Uh, the White Army can now be brought further north as we get more of these Blue Army troops over here. And clearly there's uh, room to increase the size of the Blue Army's front. They can probably help us out over here. And yeah, what we need to do is reduce the White Army's front some. And we just need to change up everything here. So let's get rid of this. I think we might have just stopped the movement there. So yeah, we gotta re give them those orders. And Carlos Spain was annexed. Alright, so. Very close to Moscow now, so let's go ahead and go up along the rails and seize control of that. And he'll advance over this way. So we'll see who gets there first. Make sure they can't easily cut us off like we see them trying to do here now. And let's go ahead and have this unit go down this way. Take that location, this one, and this one, and have him advance over here. We'll go this way here. All right, so slowly making our way towards our cutoff troops there. Uh, this cab unit did get cut off, so that's the first time we've seen them cut us off in some time. 
Uh, but he has redirected himself now since he knows he's in trouble. Go we'll after that airbase and slowly moving towards Moscow. I really think that once we take Moscow, it's it's over at that point. Pretty sure they'll capitulate. Probably naturally, and even if it, it didn't happen naturally, I think we would just get an event or something about it. You would think anyways. All right, let's go ahead and go over to the east real quick. I haven't been over here in some time. Just make sure that uh, our units are taking territory. We'll push forward here. And yeah, I don't really want to attack there. Exhaust ourselves. Already got somebody going out to that location. And yeah, none of this really matters. So, you know, with us getting defeated here, it's, it's not a big deal. Not too worried about it. Yeah, we're having some problems getting the victories because, you know, we have supply issues here as well. It's not just the enemy that's suffering from those supply problems. So I'll grab that location. And then we'll go over here and over here. And then start taking this territory here. And make sure that these guys got orders. Currently they're just sitting here. And he'll just keep on moving along those rails there. And then this unit here will cut off the tank and then destroy him. Again, just advancing up along there, keeping it yeah, you know, thickening it up. We have the decision to do radio propaganda, which we will not. It just increases our war support. And apparently we've got more of those military factories seized from the Soviets. Really need to focus on that infantry equipment and the artillery, I think. And I believe there's something else that was short. The, the light tanks. Still having some shortages there, but I think that's okay. Alright, so this guy should be able to get these guys reconnected. As of right now, they are cut off from supply. And in fact, it's going to be this tank unit that connects them. Let's go and get that taken and uh, make sure these tanks are pushing forward here. Because currently, they are not. And get those rails taken over. And let's make sure this guy doesn't leave. Just go after the victory points, man. And this guy's already advancing towards that, so we'll have him go over here. And so yeah, it's just a matter of time now, guys. Can you not go... yeah, don't, don't do it that way. Go this way. Grab that up for us. And this guy will clean all this up. Make sure somebody's taking care of that for us. And we'll get rid of this white army front. Not necessary to have that. And then, yeah, we're going to want him... Ah, uh, damn. I was really hoping Ukraine would not rebel. But they have. So that's a real shame. Kind of a pain in the butt now. So we'll need to get them coming over to this front. Yeah. Now we got another another war on our hands, guys. So what we can do is go ahead and get this taken over and then come back over here. Yeah, it won't be long now until the Soviets capitulate and, and now it's just going to be a matter of wiping out these nationalist rebellions that we're facing. So advance down this way. He can continue ramming that territory for us. And... Hmm. We'll have that guy go towards towards Moscow. He'll have the honor there while he goes after Kaluga. Let's make sure these guys are not leaving here. Not sure where they're going, but uh, we don't want them to leave yet. Alright, so he's taking care of that for us. Still moving to cut that tank division off. And so we've taken that location, but now we're defending it. So keep them there. And let's just go ahead and take these provinces. Again, just all helping us to get the Soviets defeated. And that might be it. Or something else. Okay, so the Soviet Union was defeated. 
They got all their equipment. They've been completely annexed, and so now it's just a matter of destroying these two nationalist rebellions. But uh, war between France and Britain have also broken out. So remember, France, we set them to go communists, but they are still democratic currently, while the British have completed their goal of going fascist. And so now there's war between Britain and France. And remember, France is going communist eventually. I'm actually surprised they haven't uh, gotten done with that a little bit quicker. All right, so war between France and Britain has begun. And so now we're looking at only 28% on the real tension. You'd think it'd be much higher at this point. Um, so we did get all those military factories. We also got the equipment, though. So let me just take a look and see what we got. They had a lot of infantry equipment. So now we're not really that short there. So I'm actually going to pull these back. So we can invest in the artillery and probably more tanks. We did get a little bit of tanks from them, though. But then also we need these these planes. Now that we don't have to worry about uh, the stockpile, the plane stockpile being split. Now a lot of this is damaged factories that need to be repaired. And then also we're probably going to have some rubber shortages as we get those factories into that. We'll deal with that when uh, when we actually have those assigned. All right, so we can expand and develop resources. But that's not what we're going to use our political power for right now. We have plenty of other things we need to do. We have got to fill out all of our advisors here. So we'll we'll wait to, to work on that. And so now it's just these two wars that we're doing. And so let's go and get the, the front sorted out. So yeah, this here has been dealt with. So let me see how the best way to do this would be. So we'll want to take, probably just destroy all the fronts. Let me give this like a moment to adjust here. And then just redo every front line is what I'm thinking. Delete everybody's orders, if they have any. Oh, this army doesn't have any. All right, excellent. So I have the white army on this front. Same thing with this blue army. And I'm not even gonna bother. Let's go and give these guys orders. I'm not gonna even bother to split it up. It's fine like this. And then these guys will be on this front here. I suppose we'll just have them wrap all the way around. Or maybe do this a little differently, actually. I don't know how well it's gonna work. Whenever you have a country completely surrounded, it often causes issues. So I don't know if this is gonna let me do what I wanna do here. And then we'd have like a different army up over here. This course is going to take them like a million years to get over here. And then just have these guys come up over here going after the, the capital. All right, so that looks pretty good. And the end of League of Nations is, of course, now in effect. And, you know, we might want to change up the yeah, where these guys are assigned. They don't have these guys going way over there. I think that makes sense. Yeah, so we'll do that. And then maybe take some of these units that are way over here. They can take some time to get over there. And send them into these other armies. Like this guy here. He can go into this army. And then, like any tank units that we might have that are off kind of far away. Apparently we only have this one. Yeah, we'll leave him here though. This is really not the best area for tanks, honestly. Yeah, let's have him go to the, the white army here then. And yeah, we want, we want more mountain troops over there, honestly. And so what we might want to do is take any mountain troops that are in this area and have them come over here as well. You know, honestly, we can just go ahead and put this army here have them combine with this one just completely get rid of that army and then I'll see if I can stretch out these guys I don't know 
That looks like it worked. Okay, I was worried it was like circle all the way around it as it often does. And it probably will once you start taking territory. You know it's going to be messed up because it, it often is. And then we're going to take some of these troops that are going to be going up over here. Just take them and have them come to this area. Like maybe, I don't know, like three of these units. Have them come over there and then uh, one more. We'll come into this army here. All right, so just gotta push forward into Ukrainian territory now, wherever we can. We'd like to take that one there. So let's go ahead and go after these victory points here. Try and get undefeated. Now, we have achieved victory. That means that we're gonna have to give that territory to Japan. We got the new event for moving our capital and an event for destalinization. I don't know if those were uh, hidden events or if we'll see them fire. Your capital's still currently over here, so yeah, they haven't fired just yet. We have the end of the second Russian Civil War. All right, let's go ahead and have these guys advance towards Kiev. And just get this all taken over here. And then we'll see if we can't cut off this unit here. So I got lots of units coming over to this area to help us out. And then this guy, let's just have him go after their capital. Let's try and get this territory taken over. I assume they're not going to have enough divisions to stop us from advancing into their territory. I don't know how many events, uh, how many divisions the event fired. I would get that field hospital one. All right, excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and get the artillery now. Get that in 79 days. And uh, also that tank refurbishment plant did get another trait. So we're going to go down this route here. We don't really need the, the breakthrough for the armor technology since I don't know if we'll actually use these for armor. But this does give you the production output cost reduction for support equipment. And we are using this MIO for that. We are almost done with this focus here. I wasn't sure if that was a focus that would like fail if you didn't do it before the Civil War ended? Apparently not. Haven't seen anything be bypassed just yet. But also it seems like the Civil War is not completely done yet, considering that we're still the provisional Russian government. Uh, but yeah, this is the territory we gave up to Japan for helping us out in the Civil War. Uh, what we can do is probably get our fleet training up. So we start getting that naval experience again. So we get these fleets moving over here and then we'll combine them with our existing ones. And then we'll get those guys training. Uh, planes. It's another thing we're gonna want to move. Move them into Ukraine. Might need to create some new air wings as well. And did we just get control of all their air wings out there? Maybe. Let's go ahead and move these guys over here so they can assist us with some close air support. And then these guys will come over here. And these guys are tactical bombers, so we're going to have them do the close air support as well. This one needs to we'll move them over here for now, but yeah, they need to get some, some more planes out of the stockpiles. All right, so let's go and move all these over to, let's move all over to here. And this one needs to be given orders as well. All right, so that looks pretty good. We do need to move some planes over to here if we can. Yeah, we actually have an airbase not too far away there. So move them over here. Can he not? Yeah, he can't cover that just doesn't have the range available. All right, so we'll just have them go over here then. All right, so just make sure there's no other air wings just kind of sitting around besides what we know about these these tactical bombers here. Let's move them over there for now. Yeah, we got planes sitting like all over the place. Can these guys cover this? They cannot. I don't think it's gonna be necessary to have, let's just have them come over here and then train. I don't think it's necessary to put any more planes over there. We just got planes dotted all over the place. Yeah, we do. All right, I'm gonna have to fix this off camera because yeah, they're just all over the place. Yeah, we'll deal with that later. 
Let's just try and get as much done in today's episode as we can. Uh, we are losing here, so let's gonna stop that. I'll push forward here. Take that location. You can see that the Ukrainians have moved over here. And now uh, defending their territory properly. Also need to take a look at our, our commanders. Our field marshals and generals maybe rearrange them and stuff just based on what we've gotten after the war. And I prefer to not attack there in the mountains if we can avoid it. It's obvious that's going to be uh, casualty heavy. And let's go advance over this way. Let's try and take areas that aren't defended. There might be a unit there that we just can't see though. We'll go advance over here. And we got this unit cut off, so let's go ahead and destroy him. Yeah, get him wiped out. He'll advance over here as well, and then maybe have these two tank units attack over this way and connect with this guy, cut off that unit. Have him assist there. Just get all this taken over. And the Germans are still assisting us as well, since uh, the war never really ended. We're still at war. I'm wondering if that's what you have to do to get the end of the Civil War event. Like, finish up all your wars? Perhaps. That makes sense. We did get the capital of the provisional Russian government, though, saying the war is over here. And so we get to decide where we want to move our capital to, so we can uh, move it to Moscow. You could keep it in Cheetah. We wouldn't want to, to do that, though, especially since it would be fighting Japan, so that's pretty close to the Japanese border. Could move it to St. Petersburg, because Lenin, Leningrad will be renamed. Or we can have an eastern capital. I don't think we want to do that. I think it probably makes the most sense to do St. Petersburg, considering the fact that that was uh, the capital during the Tsar's time. However, I don't think we're going to do that. Because it's kind of an exposed location. Really not the best place for your capital. I do want the name changed, though. It should be changed anyways, regardless of where you put the capital. Same thing with Stalingrad. That should be changed, too. I guess we'll see what happens, but Moscow will be our capital. I hope they change it, because that'd be kind of silly if it remains the names Leningrad and Stalingrad. And I think there's a couple other locations that need to be need to be named. Renamed, I should say. Alright, so advance over that way. This guy's clearly going to lose here, so we'll stop that. So maybe attack over here instead. And let's see if we can't get these guys wiped out here. And just need to try and get these guys cut off from being able to retreat. Alright, it's kind of a weird situation over here right now. Let's go ahead and help out here. Attack over that way. Not sure where these guys are leaving, just stay here. Have this guy advance over here and grab that location. Nope, no, he won't. We should instead cut these guys off, since it wouldn't be that difficult to do. This here will cut off these units, so we'll get them destroyed if the units don't just take off immediately. That should probably exactly what they'll do. So we'll take a look at the situation up here in the north. All right, so advancing towards their capital. Let's have these guys take over this territory. In fact, we'll have this guy go over here. Let's have him go this way. And he'll push forward in that location. Just go ahead and take over any territory up along here. And let's see how we're doing here in Ukraine. So we did cut off these troops here. Let's go ahead and now get them wiped out. Shouldn't be too difficult to get done. And let's have this tank unit grab that province, which will cut off those units. This guy's gonna advance over here since it's currently undefended. And then, I know who's winning there, but we're gonna actually change it up just a little bit. All right, so now we need to wipe out these troops here. Lots of little pockets of troops that need to be destroyed. So let's go ahead and take care of that. 
and then have this cab unit cut off that unit. He'll go after the airbase, and we're gonna go after these victory points. Let's try and force their capitulation here. Let's go and attack here and here, and then have this unit here try and help out so we don't lose this location. So just getting all these pockets destroyed. And then we'll have this tank uh, help cut off this unit here. And then just advance up along this way. Get this unit here destroyed. And he'll advance over here. Alright, so these pockets have all been finished up. And we got that focus completed. The aristocratic investments are excellent. Um, so next is the con Consolidate Power. So we didn't get this one completed, which is fine. Didn't need it. And so this one here will give you weekly stability, which you need. We're sitting at 40% currently. And reduces that communist support as well. And we'll get a new advisor too. It's a 35 day focus. Communist support is still pretty high at 31%. Fascist support is 29%. We are seeing non line move up. It's also only at 29%. Let me just see how we're doing in the skies. Make sure we're controlling them. We are. Excellent. And we need some, some fighters over here that are you know, able to, to cover it. Just somebody who's got some, some decent range. I don't know any of these guys. We'll be able to do it. So let me just take a look. Yeah, it's just too large of a location. All right, so let's just stop. Stop that and have him stay here. I'm just not going to be able to cover it. But at least we're getting them some, some close air support. I'll move the planes around, see what we can do. We got all those air wings just kind of sitting around everywhere. Got more troops moving as well. They should be taking the rails. Otherwise, it's going to take them forever to get over here. And gonna try and avoid fighting in those mountains if we can. All right, so got troops moving over here, taking out, taking over all this territory. We'll make sure everybody moves over there though. And just take a look at where we're at on getting those two to capitulate. So Ukraine is currently 46%. I already killed 35,000 of them while they've only killed 421 of ours. 52% uh, for the Komi Republic here. And I don't think we'll have any more Nationalist Rebellion since the Civil War is over. Now, I know that there are more that can fire, uh, but I think we were able to get done quick enough where we didn't see those those happen. So I have a lot I have to take care of in between episodes, like moving these planes around, taking a look at all of our commanders and our, our situation with the equipment and, and the factories. So I'll take a look at everything. I'm sure we're repairing a lot Yeah, with our factories here. Not a lot of civilian factories for us to make use of currently. Got a lot of stuff we have to repair up. So I'll take a look at everything, make some adjustments. Hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you on the next one. And thanks for watching.